Happy Halloween, audience dudes! This is our Bill and Ted's Excellent Halloween Adventure review video for Halloween Horror Nights 25 in Universal Orlando Resort. This is always one of our favorite shows. We always looking forward. To, we always look forward to it. The same Bill and Ted from last year are back. Same actors. Yeah. And the uh, the woman who played uh, whatever her name uh, is. Elsa and uh, Paula Dean. She's back yeah. too. This is good to see. Yeah. And she sings again. And as always, this show is really funny. There's always callbacks to the, the previous year, but this year, being an anniversary year, they call back even further. They even they even say because uh, uh, Disney's doing um, I think a show for Hocus Pocus, which is like an old movie from the '90s, and they're like, why would anybody do a show for an almost 25 year old movie? Yeah. <laughs> which is funny because I mean this yeah. show's been running 25 years and they've been. Bill and Ted's been a part of it since the beginning. There hasn't been a movie since they started. No. Uh, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey was, um... Where, where maybe it was? That, that was the early 90s. Yeah, well, basically the early 90s. Yeah. And um, there's, there's been talk lately, uh, Keanu Reeves has mentioned that there might be a Bill and Ted 3. Uh, it's sort of in the works. Um, so he, he has been talking about it. It's just, uh, there's complications behind the scenes about you know what's going on. Uh, he does say he and um, Alex Winter are, are willing to you know come back for it. Um, sadly, we do not have George Carlin to be Rufus anymore. But I mean, th there has been talk of a Bill and Ted three, but yeah, basically since Bogus Journey, there hasn't been anything Bill and Ted. It would be interesting if they managed to get them to record something uh, for the Bill and Ted show. Mm -hmm. Um, the intro or something, the actual, the actual actors. But Universal could say, well, if you really want to play the characters, you can play it during the Halloween Horror Nights. <laughs> and oh. then the tickets will be $300 a piece. Oh my, yeah. <laughs> this year, of course, there's a lot of dancing and singing and stuff, which mm -hmm. is kind of cool. Um, I, the show got a little too self-aware, I think, when they realized that they're in part of Halloween Horror Nights and they're doing a Bill and Ted show. But, I, th I think it was just a joke for the anniversary year, yeah. you know. But uh, you like, or, or we're not getting to spoilers. Yeah. Hey, let's go, let's go with hair spoilers. All right. You like when the DeLorean. Yeah. And that, that's, that's like right off the top of the show. Like uh, the DeLorean from Back to the Future, including the uh, Mr. Fusion on the back, yeah. actually drives in the, the doctor um, actor's at the wheel. Um, uh, he gets out with Bill and Ted. Uh, he doesn't stick around long, but uh, I, and I'm hoping it's one of the old actors. And they even say, like, wasn't your ride right over there? And, yeah. You know, that, that's what he's talking about with it being self aware. Yeah. You know, but I mean, it's, it's just a joke for the anniversary year. And some things from, like, you know, the past few years come back again. Yeah, the uh, Avatar guy is becoming like Dot the Walking Dead. Can't yeah. Get rid of it. Yeah. Uh, he comes back. Doug does a little bit again. They have sex with their tails. Sex with their tails! And uh, that terror world keeps getting pushed later and later. Doc Brown. Doc Brown drove the DeLorean. And then uh, the doctor from Doctor Who came in, but uh, dressed as like several different doctors. There was the Fez. There was um, from uh, Eleven. There was the you know big jacket from Ten. Uh, part of the scarf from Four. You know, so like... Uh, yeah, a lot going on. It was uh, interesting that the phone booth is barely in it. Yeah. Which is, you know, usually it's a little more, has a little more to do with the plot. Um, I don't know if it was because, you know, people are like, what's a phone booth? <laughs> but um, for whatever reason, it kind of shows up in the beginning and that's about it. Well, I mean, to be fair, they also did have several time machines. They had the DeLorean, the TARDIS shows up, yeah. and the phone booth. So, you know, but yeah, you're, you're right. I mean, we, we could have used a little bit more phone booth. Even, even with the dancing at the end, I said, uh, let's take it, uh, what did it say? Oh, let, let's play some of the classics. It's a good show this year, so um, if you go, take the time to go see Bill and Ted. It's, yeah. it's a real treat. So, especially if you are a fan of previous years of Halloween Horror Nights or, yeah. you know, the stuff that's in it. Um, Justin Bieber is back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I couldn't tell if it was a, a guy or a, a woman playing. 
playing Justin this time. Yeah, because well, there, there have been women in the past who played Justin, they did a really good job, you know, playing a male part. Yeah. And uh, that was part of the show, is that, uh, was like, was like, oh, was like, yo, they, they think I'm a woman, why don't you, why don't you, uh, why don't you tell them that I'm not, you know, I'm not a woman? And they're like, uh, we can't, uh, can't back you up on that. <laughs> so, they did a full body search and they still put me in the women's section. Yeah. So, it's always fun to see him come back. Yeah. Or her, or whatever. That's our review, I tried to record it, and it didn't work again. And, uh, I'm sure somebody will have it up in the next few months. Yeah. But, um, hope you like the video. And check out the channel or subscribe if you haven't. And thanks for watching.